Hey, hello. How are you guys doing? Okay. All right. What is happening? Um, what I'm here for is a new unboxing. Okay. I've done a lot of unboxing that I need to do for you guys. So whatever is transpiring. Yes, I'm going to do the unboxing. So, okay, let's go ahead and do this unboxing. I have seen this card. I've seen someone um did a unboxing for this card and they did not really give a wonderful review i looked at it for myself i love it okay i love it it is the spiral car um tarot deck it's done by kate stevenson uh, um stevenson um steventon and this is wonderful i have seen it i've seen someone did an unboxing i think it was um you know a beautiful deck and finally 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 i have my deck because most of my um my, most of my deck is left in the states so, so i saw this one and it's uh, published by us game system enc and i decide to do this unboxing now i love it it comes in a real nice little box this is it a real nice little box and it says a spiral tower deck done by us game system enc i love it this is what the box looked like it's really nice and small i was blown away i love it i really love it and the back of it the spiral so beautiful 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 i'm loving this i'm loving the energy i'm loving the energy that it brings off i think that this tower deck Katie, uh, Kate, if you're watching, it was meant for me. <laughs> I just so love it. There is so much beautiful things that is happening into this deck. Okay. There's a message from the deck and this is how it is. And it says the spiral um, Torah deck is dedicated to, to my Celtic, Celtic grandmother who used to read um, play cards when I was a child. It was she who guided me through a, a process of my journey. She entailed in me the physiological that life is like that Asian symbol, the spiral. Each phase of life has a beginning, runs through a course and come to an end before moving to the next cycle. The ultimate um, aspiration is to be like the Tara fool not allowing past experience to hold us back but to embrace the new cycles with an open heart and mind each time with a little bit more wisdom okay okay this is really wonderful really beautiful you have done a very good job extremely good job it's no question all right I have opened it before because I was um, I have ordered a couple of decks and I was waiting for them I've opened it because I wanted to do some readings with it I think it's just one of the most beautiful beautiful decks I because it's hard for me to work with a deck because I have it's hard for me to work with a deck because I, I'm looking for certain um, certain uh, things in a deck okay when I work with a deck I'm looking for certain things in a deck and uh, um, the, the the deck has to awaken me okay I'm someone like this the deck really has to awaken me I'm someone who work with the magic within the card deck and um, some some sometimes people program their their decks and I think that one, this is one of the things that should be done. I am a program this deck. This deck is a beautiful deck. Okay. I can't say, and I, I think the reason why I was so caught up with this deck is that uh, I, I saw the review that someone did and I was thinking, oh my God, I want to see what that deck is like. I've looked at the pictures. The pictures were I connected with the picture so I definitely decided okay this is definitely something for me so I love the spiral anything with spiral anything with circle that is me there is something about spirals and circle that I work with 
um, I'm always drawing circle or triangle let's say I'm on the phone with someone I'm always drawing a circle or a triangle so obviously I'm connected with those symbol and I think whenever people do their cards you know if you do um, if you buy a deck and it's not what you were looking for I still think that you should do a review on it even you know whatever is transpiring just uh, speak a good word because people do this um, we need these decks to work with um, some of us are not good at uh, creating so when people create decks I think we just we should just respect um, people and respect the things that people do for us and I think that's why I wanted to redo a review on this deck even though a review some of you can find review but it depends on who you are and how you connect um, to a deck and and this is what I'm trying to bring back the positive energy because I, I do uh, know that decks it depends on who you are as a person and what connects with you there are just some decks that I would not use because I don't feel the energy coming out of the deck okay so let's go in and check this out I want to get this out by Christmas um, so that you know this person can get sales I okay I really like your deck so if you're watching I really like your deck if you have more decks out there just uh, um, send me a mail and let me know which deck it is okay alrighty ladies and gentlemen I'm just gonna try and put these in the right um, the right um, um, area um, so that I can do this because I've, I've, I've already used it and I really want to get through doing this the lovers and the chariot and the strength I really want to get through doing this so that you guys can see what this is all about I love this deck because it has so much this deck has so much that is going for it okay I, I am just so blown away um, from this deck I'm really blown away because um, you can understand and see just wonderful things it is just so beautiful it has so many and I'm someone that works with symbol so I guess that is also one of the reason because I work with symbol and that is one of the, one of the reason that I connected so much with this deck because I work with a lot of symbols okay um, I am so I, I vibrate on a higher energy when I'm working with symbols because um, by working with symbols what we do is that um, the universe create an alignment of energy okay the debt is 15 tower is 16 all right so let's go and review this deck and um, let me know check this deck out so the first one we have for the spiral deck it is the energy of the fool I love this isn't it beautiful I so love this look at the look, look at the symbol um, it has the symbolic energy and a lot of people are not aware of this but this is the Omega and this is the energy that the, 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 the sign of the air sign okay and look at this cup coming from the universe and this is an Hebrew taken and this is also another sign people who are on the fourth and fifth dimension will understand that sign now what I so love about this fool it has nothing to do with the dog there's an angel that is guiding this person on a new journey and look at the birds that is around this person look at all the little rats the little right here and the angel is standing behind this person said I'm protecting you as you go on your new journey I love it I love it I love it okay so this is another one this is the the magician and this is cool because again you can see and let me hold it up again you can see the sign of the the air sign here okay and if you notice if you listen to my reading um, this is the energy of the snake but the, the the magician these are all the sign 
And this is wonderful because it's associated with Archangel Raziel, Saint Germain, because they work the magic, the magical angels. You got to learn this and know who they are. Now, the Eye Princess is, <laughs> is so beautiful. The Eye Princess, there is so much sign. She has the energy of the moon. She has, there is just, this, is, this card is beautiful. I don't care what anyone says. I think it's the most beautiful deck that has ever been made. Okay. Um, there is a sign, but what is so beautiful is that the tree of life is there. The half moon is there and the energy of water is here. The energy of water. And this is good. Um, this is, um, this is, um, so good. So powerful. So aligned with the right energies. And it's just so beautiful. Then we have the energy of the heart coming up. This is the Empress beautiful energy the female the female signal okay beautiful energy this is the energy of the heart okay the Hebrew symbol I am loving it it's so beautiful somehow I'm so attracted to this sort of a um, uh, um, design this sort of a uh, taken it's 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 very beautiful then we have the hierophant and the hierophant if you notice is uh, the tree of life is returning in these cards the resolution the tree of life it is beautiful look at the way he does his hands look at all the symbols that is around this is such a beautiful card i decide to use it for the moon reading and, and look at uh, you know there's just so much signs that is in this card look at the tree of life all of these cards are basically having the energy of the tree of life as we move to the lovers a very very beautiful beautiful energy um of the lovers i'm loving this i think that you know we should people who are making card decks should be um putting more of this time in these card decks because um what is happening and what is transpiring is that we're still holding on and the tree of life again is is there you gotta see it the tree of life is there and it's the hebrew taken in that just really awakens me to this chariot the chariot is here i love the black and white um or this this is really some egyptian but hebrew taken in that is in this and it has to do with the celtic the celtic signals the celtic symbols I am loving this this is a 10 plus there's no question as I saw these cards I knew it look at strength very beautiful very very beautiful extremely beautiful wonderful energies that is coming up then the energy of the hermit this is a positive alignment of energy with the energy of the hermit super super cool I love this then we have the energy of temperance the energy of temperance is here a beautiful look at the stars shooting off look at your angels look at the tree of um, life that is here it has more a uh, Hebrew it is a cal kit but it has Hebrew symbols and this is what make it so beautiful the wheel of fortune you can see that these are past life again the tree of life is there um, and this is so good and so positive because what is happening and what is transpiring is that there is so much information that is coming off this. The energy of the emperor, the energy of the emperor is here. And I'm sorry, the numbers or so, but the energy of the emperor is here. This is just so beautiful and so powerful. Um, justice. I love this. Justice is the woman carrying the scale, which is the new era where the feminine is going to be taken over again again you can see the tree of life there and again you can see the moon there it is so much so much Celtic symbols that is in it the hangman another wonderful energy the energy of the hangman this is just so powerful so positive another wonderful energy of the hangman and this is just so weird this is absolutely fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Whatever people will say, it is good. The energy of death, yeah, you can see, you know it, it's coming. Whatever it is, you see it, you know it, it's coming, okay? The tower moment is just so brilliantly beautiful.
It is so brilliantly beautiful, the tower moment. Look at all of that is happening. But you have to look closely to see this tower moment coming down. And the most beautiful, beautiful is the energy of the sun. The energy of the sun is here. The energy, the symbol of the sun. This is absolutely fabulous. It's beautiful. The heart work is perfect. It is a 10 plus. Okay. The energy of the star is here. A beautiful with the blue, the star. And this is fabulous with the lotus flowers. It is brilliant. The energy of the moon is here. The energy of the moon is here. It's fabulous. It's really your spirit guides coming in, which is beautiful. Judgment is here. I'm loving the sign of judgment. It is powerful. It is wonderful. It is a positive alignment of energy with judgment. Judgment. Then we have the energy of the world is here. And this is fabulous, 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 darlings, fabulous. So, um, go back, stop the video, look at it. I know I'm going a little bit fast. So, um, go back and check it out. First, we're going to be looking at a water sign. Okay. Um, there is like sadness, um, with a water sign. I have to admit there is like sadness with a water sign. Uh, eight, seven, uh, three. There is like some sadness with a water sign. So be aware of that. Okay. Six, five, two, uh, four, four and the king. Okay. So beautiful. What I'm going to show you is first the people. What I feel really, really is this princess of cups. Oh, sad she is. And this is just so beautiful because sometimes you get everyone being laughing or everyone have a straight face, but it's as, as if, you know, sadness, sadness is taking me over, you know, but it's just so well done. Then we have the knight, the knight of cups brilliant he's not on his horse he's off his horse at the water healing and sending love which is beautiful then we have this queen of cups i think you guys want it bigger the queen of cups isn't this be brilliant beautiful the sign of water okay cups people emotion and the king of cups i'm loving this because he has the cups in one and then the other and his hands are so pink you know beautiful then we have the Ace of Cups, which is just so wonderful. It's as if God is bringing you new love. It's as if you ask for new love. God is bringing you this new love. The Two of Cups is a yin and yang. It's finding the other part of you is the soulmate. It's a soulmate energy, and this is beautiful. The Three of Cups is really celebrating something, happiness, joy, perfect alignment of energy. The Four of Cups is really rethinking what you could have done differently that sort of a thing beautiful energy also five of cups is that you know bleaks it happens let it go i gotta go i don't want to deal with this anymore this is so powerful six of cups is that um you are deciding to build something together with people from past life a family you can see and this is what i always say to people six of cups is always about past life family friends that is becoming lovers friends that is connecting so this is good seven of cups another wonderful energy where there's so much that you can choose from and what is so beautiful is that this is not like the rest of the seven of cups where things are coming out it's all about color which direction which color um that is going to be coming up eight of cups is here where you're deciding that is when you're deciding to move on for something better Okay, so you see you're leaving the seven of cups behind and moving on to something that is better. Nine of cups is like, I got it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> okay, so this is good. Ten of cups, really wonderful, positive energy. Family, everything is, is, is good. Things are balancing out. I'm happy. You're happy. I am just spreading love and this is good. Wow. Believe you me, I love this. I love this so much because what we are seeing is that it is just 
a perfect alignment of energies that is transpiring and this is really wonderful and good because what we're seeing here what we're seeing here is that there is a lot of uh, transition that is coming up and um people are changing the way they do their cards and i think it is a wonderful alignment of energy i think it is really a wonderful alignment of energy cuz people are changing the way they look at things okay and life and this is good because we're and what i notice is that most of us we're stuck in our habits again the princesses in this deck is a little bit young adults coming up these are young adults coming up look at this um princess is a young adult she is thinking about what she wants to build in her life she wants to build um something new in her life and that sort of a thing so that is coming up the knight is off the horse and you know this is just so beautiful because the knights are off the horse and this is good because what is transpiring and what is happening with the knights being off the horse this is where you're seeing more positive energy i love this queen this is really um a pisces cancer a taurus virgo or a capricorn person really just in the relaxed mood okay really beautiful really independent really in the relaxed mood um they have uh, um, uh, um gained what they want this is the king of pentacles this is really a taurus virgo or a capricorn man holding on to his financial abundancy and his financial stability okay so um this is good then we are looking at the ace of pentacles i love this because it's like the beginning of uh, um, money that is going to be coming in for you it's the beginning of money then we have um the three of pentacles where you have achieved something and you're bowing to it because you have achieved something there's a lot of networking there's a lot of um important people and situation this is that i got my money i'm i'm, I'm I'm helping others but I'm keeping some for myself okay it's as if you're bringing in the money I love this energy of the five of Pentacles it's not so dark as the rest it is just going you're just going through something you have lost two things but yet still you have three to go on the money is coming in the six of Pentacles is here I love this because it's sharing it's two people getting together or you're helping someone else this is good I love this energy seven of Pentacles is that you're planting you're working on something you're planting something here you're open for a better outcomes to come eight of Pentacles always about work I told you guys it's all about work and look at that this person is working very hard because they are creating their financial abundancy nine of Pentacles is here a really wonderful positive energy of the nine of Pentacles that is coming in this is good it's as if you have you are independent you have make your money you're looking at your 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 garden that is so bloomy and grow and now we have the energy of the ten of Pentacles wonderful positive alignment of energies okay Woo, ladies and gentlemen I so love this card when I use it I can feel the energies that is coming up okay so wow it's a beautiful alignment of energies I I am really taken back with this I should say really much taken back with this because I I, I personally find it to be such a beautiful energy that is coming in I don't know the princesses they are a little bit waken up okay um the women and men is like um that is it the seven okay so I really you know give leave a message about this deck because I find it so beautiful the person who I saw the review of I think oh my god I got to do a review on, on 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 that because it's a beautiful deck. It's a deck that I um this is a sign of fire, the energy of fire, the princess of wands. Then we have uh, the prince of wands, which is good. Then we have the queen of wands and look how beautiful their dress. This is like really Celtic. This is just so positive, so beautiful, okay? 
Then we have the King of Wands. All right, so good alignment of energy. So please leave your message because I personally find it to be a wonderful deck. Now, I love this Ace of One where you see the hands of God coming down and giving someone a new start, giving someone something that was taken by, I've taken away from them. And I'm, I think that it is just so beautiful. Look at this Two of Ones. It's just so wonderful without the hurt in one hand. The hurt is in front of him. He's thinking of how I'm going to create and have international um, connections. And that is just so good. Then we have this person, ship has come in and they are deciding to start a new project. They're thinking and the strong of the celebration, the celebration, the strong foundation and the celebration. So this is wonderful and this is beautiful. The conflicts, and I love this energy of the conflicts. It's beautiful. It's a positive alignment of energy. Then we have the six of ones. This is good. This is like normal people, the Celtic people, the people who are coming in. And this is beautiful. Then we have the energy of the seven of ones. Um, you know, someone trying to protect their field, their grounds. This is beautiful. It's happening. It is going to be wonderful. Then we have the eight of ones. Wonderful alignment of energy. Good positive energy vibration that is coming out. Then we have the nine of ones where someone is protecting their business. This is, this is someone who's standing up and is ready for anything, but yet still with love. The 10 of ones where the energy is, um, things are now ending. Things are now coming together. It is beautiful. Then I have the energy of the swords. Okay. It is <laughs> the deception okay ten of swords nine okay the knight of swords the six 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 queen of swords okay the three of swords you know you guys you know me i seven of swords is one of my thing i need to know who you are <laughs> so you guys you guys know me i just need to know who you are whatever I see the energy of that coming up I just need to know who you are <laughs> getting to the bottom of it okay I love this energy of the source energy look at this isn't this beautiful this is the air sign it is absolutely fabulous queen of swords ruling with the swords knight of swords isn't this gorgeous yes it is so these energy of the swords king of swords okay so we're going to be checking out the ace of swords to see what is happening and transpiring ha huh? blue truth communication and i love these because they have so much that a card is just saying this is just saying so much it's just so beautiful um heartbreaks i love this heartbreaks because it's as if you have lost something but something new is coming in look at that light um yeah you have lost something but something new is coming in the four of swords brilliant fabulous brilliant 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 then we have the energy of the five of swords so a wonderful positive alignment from energy this is good the eight of swords not seen clearly brilliant look at the colors i you know whoever did this card the artistic work is fabulous the artistic work is fabulous seven of swords speak the truth stop stealing you know the white sand the fox the fox is there um six of swords finally you have come to an end you're moving forward and this is so wonderful finally you have come to an end and you're moving forward then we have the nine of swords and i love this because it's not like oh the whole world and everything is going no okay then you have the ten of swords okay 
so ladies and gentlemen that was the end of this new unboxing it is again the spiral tarot deck this is what the box looks like because I know a lot of times people ask me which deck am I using I am I am multi-dimension so I always use just weird decks because um, I can communicate so much because my spirit guides um, when they're challenging there's just so much that is coming in so I use very weird decks so please leave a message let me know share 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 this video I think this this box is a 10 plus um, K if you're watching this um, let me know what other decks you have this is a beautiful deck this is a 10 plus um, bite for Christmas you never know namaste